the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Welcome, everyone, to the Sunday of the Pentecost. I'm Father Thomas, Father Youngby, Father Joseph Su, Deacon Pafo. Today we have reader Anita Johnson. In the Gospel of today, Jesus says, Receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit we have received during the baptism. Holy Spirit continues to guide, transform every one of us. Let us once again listen to the Holy Spirit in our thoughts, in our words and actions. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks, great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, and Lord God Jesus Christ, your begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, we take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work, when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came round, the apostles had all met in one room. When suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven, and at this sound they all assembled, each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they said, all these men speaking are Galileans? How does it happen that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya around Cyrene, as well as visitors from Rome, Jews and proselytes alike, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them preaching in our own language about the marvels of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm, Lord, 
send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your riches. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord unless he is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. There is a variety of gifts, but always the same Spirit. There are all sorts of services to be done, but always to the same Lord, working in all sorts of different ways in different people. It is the same God who is working in all of them. The particular way in which the Spirit is given to each person is for a good purpose. Just as a human body, though it is made up of many parts, is a single unit, because all these parts, though many, make one body, so it is with Christ. In the one Spirit, we were all baptised, Jews as well as Greeks, slaves as well as citizens, and one Spirit was given to us all to drink. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We now have the sequence. Holy Spirit, Lord of light, from the clear celestial height, thy pure beaming radiance give. Come, thou Father of the poor, come with treasures which endure. Come, thou light of all that live. Thou of all consolers best, thou the soul's delightful guest, dust refreshing peace bestow. Thou in toil art comfort sweet, pleasant coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. Light immortal, light divine, visit thou these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. If thou take thy grace away, Nothing pure in man will stay. All his good is turned to ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness pour thy dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. Thou on us who evermore thee confess and thee adore, with thy sevenfold gifts descend. Give us comfort when we die. Give us life with thee on high. Give us joys that never end. Please stand to welcome the gospel. Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the evening of the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hand and his side. 
the disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, as Father Thomas said in the introduction, and also as you can see from what we were wearing today, it's clear that we are in a different season. It's a different celebration today. Today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Pentecost was a Jewish feast. They celebrated it 50 days after the Passover. So for us Christians, it's 50 days after Easter. According to history, Pentecost was a feast of thanksgiving. The Jewish people all over on this feast would bring their first produce, the first fruits from their farms to the temple in Jerusalem and offer it to the Lord to thank the Lord but also to ask for God's blessings for the rest of the harvesting season. The temple was destroyed by the Babylonians and so it meant that there was no temple for people to go and offer their first produce. This feast therefore took on a new meaning they celebrated it as a day to remember the reception of the commandments by Moses on Sinai. So it was within one of these celebrations, it was like yearly celebration that we hear in the first reading that the Holy Spirit came on the apostles. For the past two weeks, we've been hearing Jesus promised his disciples, I will send you a helper. I will send you the paraclete. I will send you another advocate who will be with you after I've gone. And today, this promise has been fulfilled in the apostles as they received the Holy Spirit. Last weekend, we celebrated Ascension. In our first reading, we heard that Jesus told them, stay in Jerusalem until you receive the Holy Spirit. This Holy Spirit will empower you, and from there you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. I want us to pause here and reflect a bit on what we heard last weekend. Jesus knew that this mission he was entrusting to the apostles was going to be a very tough mission. Why tough? In Jerusalem, it was sure that the chief priests, the scribes, and the Sadducees would be an obstacle to the mission of the apostles. In Samaria, we know that the Samaritans and the Jews were not in good terms. And so now going there to evangelize meant it would be a very difficult mission. To the ends of the earth, they were going to meet different cultures, different people, different languages. And these were going to make their mission very tough. And so Jesus tells them, don't go anywhere. Remain. The Holy Spirit will come and the Holy Spirit will empower you for the mission. Lo and behold, today the Holy Spirit comes on them and they are ready to go for the mission. The apostles are long dead and gone. We are the apostles of today. 
We've also been sent out. And we do our mission in various ways and at various places. Some of us do our mission as parents at home by witnessing to our children the love of Christ. We witness to our husbands. We witness to our wives. Some of us do this mission in classrooms through our teaching. Some do it in the courtrooms as lawyers and as judges. So everywhere we are, we've been sent out. Like the disciples, there are obstacles that also come with our mission. Be it at the school, in the family, at the workplace, there are obstacles. But like the disciples, the Lord does not leave us alone. The Lord empowers us with the Holy Spirit. We've also received the Holy Spirit. When we were baptized, we received the Holy Spirit. When we were confirmed, we received more of the Holy Spirit. Being empowered does not mean there will not be any obstacles. The obstacles will always be there. But because we've been empowered by the Holy Spirit, we are able to stand up to all the challenges that come our way. Some might doubt, but I don't see the Holy Spirit. And I tell you, hold on. We, those who are coffee and tea lovers, and always want to take it with sugar or, or with honey, after we put the sugar, we might taste it and we don't get any sweetness. What do we do? We always have to stir it up before we enjoy the sweetness of the sugar. And so it is with the Holy Spirit that has been given to you and me. It's there. So it's up to us to stir it up, stir the Spirit up. And it is there that we will begin to enjoy the sweetness of this Spirit that has been given to us. It is there that we will feel the empowerment that the Lord has given to each and everyone for our mission. And so today is my prayer that the Lord will rekindle the spirit within us and that we will also live in that constant awareness that we've been empowered. We can enjoy our empowerment by befriending the Holy Spirit. Call on the Holy Spirit. Argue with the Holy Spirit. Tell the Holy Spirit what you think, just as we do with our friends. And the Holy Spirit will always be there for you. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our paraclete. He's the advocate who comes to help us when we are weak. So may our mission be empowered by the Spirit of God. And may the Spirit that comes to the Pentecost be our portion. May God bless us all. Let's all profess the faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, God substantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried and raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the law, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends, Father, you find us where we are at, whether in the midst of our daily life or in locked rooms. Help us to find the courage to live in the Holy Spirit and to meet the needs of our communities. We pray for Pope Francis as he encourages the world to respond to the call of the Spirit, especially in regions of the world that do not know peace this day, that God's love might be a source of unity rather than a cause for division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for civic leaders that their policies create more just societies where the love of country and neighbour can flourish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our doctors, nurses and frontline workers that their efforts may awaken the spirit within their communities and create new cultures that show appreciation for their hard work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are affected by the pandemic. May they find a path to recovery as soon as possible. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially Pasquale Schipilati, Conchetta Bertoni, Helen De Bono, Tony McAuliffe, and Michael Chirkoff, and those who have died due to the coronavirus. May their families be consoled in their time of grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for Gladwood Ellen, Vlado Gregoric, Alan Lane, Patrick and Kevin Hessian, Thomas McCann, Nancy Halon, Teresa Abfalter, and Harold Chapman, whose anniversaries occur about this time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your spirit is capable of remarkable things. Hear the prayers we have brought before you this day and grant them in your Son's name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine, work of our human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Forever. Let the Lord Almighty give you some blessing and blessing. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and the good of all the saints. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all the truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, 
You bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you have made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Holy Spirit as the church came to birth upon all the peoples in the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in the professions of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal John, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together an ending hymn of your glory as they are clean. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Bosco, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare the saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil free us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of thy mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and with, and your, with your spirit, spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. The world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the host most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed the heavenly gifts upon your church, save God, we pray, the grace that you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit pour out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parishioners, from 1st June, we are allowed to have 20 people attending the Mass. So you may kindly call up to the parish secretary to book it. If not, you can go on to the dry booking and you are most welcome to join for the weekday Masses and also the weekend. Once again, God bless you. May God, the Father of light, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' mind by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared about the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. Amen. And may God, who has been blessed, pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may your journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. God has chosen me, God has chosen me to bring good news to the poor. God has chosen
chosen me, God has chosen me to bring you sight to those searching for light. God has chosen me, chosen me, and to tell the world that God's kingdom is near, to remove oppression and break down fear. Yes, God's time is near, God's time is near, God's time is near.